you guys how are you doing so I am gonna get into the word with you today so we're gonna talk about salt and light you're probably wondering why am I saying salt <laughs> and light Ooh, I'm on the road okay but I'm gonna you know say the word because I haven't been on here for like a week or two weeks I haven't posted anything on the Bible but you know my channel we're gonna get into the word okay and here we go it's been Ma we're still I'm still studying Matthew the book of Matthew and I'm still getting into the word so it's very short this part it says so it's in Matthew 5 verses 13 through 16 okay and we're gonna use this example on our modern life we're living right now so it says you are the salt of the earth so you which is us we are the salt of the earth okay and you know salt is salty it, it gives texture and all that stuff and it says but if if but if salt has lost its taste how shall its salt saltiness be restored it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. So, we over here talking about salt and when it loses its value, it's not worth anything and it should be pushed away. So you serving God, you people who's on earth, we must learn how to stay renewed, okay? And be, you know, clean. What, what kind of, what, 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 what would you think, baby? What would you think what this verse is? You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall, it, shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's foot. What do you think? Can you talk about people like, if you serve, if you serve the Lord, you're supposed to serve the Lord with all your heart. So, you see some people that live with this world, they live and they say they, they Okay, so we got his viewpoint, and that kind of he is kind of right. It is comparing to people who are part of the world and people who are not serving God. And let's say you were a Christian and you were serving God, and all of a sudden you just change your lifestyle, you stop serving God. That means you become bitter. You're not even salt anymore. So that's the salt that God is talking. It's like a metaphor. The salt is us, and once we have no taste, we're worth any nothing. We have to share the word of God, share the gospel. And look, you, 14 said, you are the light of the world. Sorry for the bumpiness, I'm in the car, you guys. It says, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do, pe nor do people light a lamp and, and put it under a basket but on a stand and it gives light to all in the house 16 in the same way let your light shine before others so that that so that they may see your good works and give glory to god to your father who is in heaven so that means you serving God you have a light that is in you that can shine so bright you guys so that means when you are serving God trust me pe people should should know that you're serving God and people should know that you worshiping him they, can, they, should, they should see you as an example that's the light that they are talking about that we have something in us that people will be able to see when we serve God my husband has something to say. You know the thing when you're talking about salt. So that means if you if you farm on Jesus Christ, right? You're supposed to do what Jesus do. Did okay, if you stop following Jesus Christ then go to the world, do whatever you want to do, so that means that's what you got to do. That means you have no need to swallow no test. That means you just just like somebody showing you themselves. For example, I usually upload videos on Facebook and I don't know who's really watching me. Sometimes I say you have people watching you and they'll show you who's watching you. But for example, by what I do, this lady was at my work and she was like, Are you a preacher? 
do you preach? Like, are you a preacher? And I'm like, no, I don't preach. I'm not a preacher. I just like sharing the word of God. And that's the job. Because when God came on earth, what did he do? He came and he, he got a lot of disciples. And he was teaching them the word. And he was their teacher. He was their rabbi. And he was showing them how to live life as a Christian. And how to deal with certain situations. And... What we too, we need to be examples and what I've been doing is sharing the word of God through social media because there's too many people nowadays are all in social media. I'm like, you know what? If everybody's in social media, I should be preaching the word in social media. Not preaching the word, but sharing the word in social media. I'm not a preacher, so I'm sharing the word and giving my thoughts and hopefully you guys can understand and my views. And hopefully we can get together and comment below on this video what you think about this specific chapter this verses that I read um, because we should be an example and when people see us they should know that hey you're serving God because one, one time I was at work and this girl she was cussing and she saw me and she's like oh 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 sorry 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 that I'm cursing around you. I know you're not in no cuss and all that stuff. And, all that. and I was like, you know what? Because I'm serving God, there are people who are not serving God. So you, they give you more respect because they know who you serve and all high God. And there are certain things that they're not going to do in front of you because you're serving Jesus. Okay? You know, like I never heard people cuss, but I just don't use that kind of, that kind of language in my mouth because the same mouth you use to bless you should not be cussing with it your your mouth should be holy you should be an example you guys so we must be careful what we say and our action because people are actually watching us non-believers are watching everything that we're doing and that's why we should be an example and that is what is basically showing us it's showing us um it's just showing us that hey we need to careful what we do and say in our life and be an example and if we become an example our light will start to show Christ so that whenever people see us they're gonna see Christ they're gonna see the angels around us and serve that our Holy Spirit you know but I am gonna get all the way down deep there to the angel part but you know what I mean let your light shine you guys and your light shine so I'm gonna end this video right here I didn't want to keep you guys too long I want to keep it short and sweet so let it Enjoy, enjoy your week. Bye.